This is a demonstration of how to complete the homework assignment loops. And here is the description. The first task we need to do is to write a new loop before the one already in the button click handler to process all records in the following t in the table context. For each record, do the following. Check to see if send card is already true. If so, increment a counter. And then reset send, send card to false. Okay, so we go to the visual basic portion here. This is the original code. And what we need to do is to replicate the loop structure. Remember to get to the first record first, and then say do while not my record set dot uf loop to mark the end of the loop. And then what we need to do is to say my record set dot edit, and then my record set dot update, because we may need to change the record set. Between these two statements, oh, forgetting, I forgot just one last thing. My record set move next. Now this is very important because if it does, if you don't do this, the loop will be stuck with the very first record in the table. So between edit uh, and update, we have to check several things. The first thing is to say if my record set exclamation point send card does not equal to zero then do the following because if send card is non-zero it means that um, we are sending a card to that recipient so inside here we have to increment a counter none is defined here so we'll go back and say dim um, count cards as integer and then at the very beginning part of the loop we have to initialize that and say count cards equals zero so inside the conditional statement, we have to increment the counter by one. So count cards equals count cards plus one. And after the conditional statement, we can reset it or you can do it inside. It doesn't really matter which uh, way you do it. So we say my record set exclamation point send card equals zero because now we know for sure that we reset it to zero. So that's uh, what we need to do with the first loop. Um, the second thing we want to do is to use MSG box to print the number of records originally with send card set to true. Okay, so that's just one single statement after the in the first loop. So now we can say MSG box. Okay, number of cards sent last year equals two, and then ampersand as a concatenation symbol, and then the counter itself, which is count cards, and that's all we need to do. Then we can proceed with the second loop. We have to change it a little bit. In the original loop, change it as follows. Use a counter to count the number of cards with send cards set to true. Remember to reset the counter before the loop. Increment the counter only if send card is set to true. As soon as this counter reaches five, exit the loop. You will need to change the condition of the do while line. Okay, so we go to the visual basic window and we have to choose a counter but since count cards has no use at this point we can just reuse it so we reset count cards to zero before the loop and then inside the loop whenever we set send card to a one we also have to increment um, count cards as a counter so we say count cards equals count cards plus one we also need to change the condition because not only do we need to make sure that we are not at the end of the record set to stay in the loop, but we also have to make sure that count cards is less than five. Because you know we, w as soon as count cards get to five, we know that we are running out of um, holiday cards and then we, it's time for us to get out of the loop. So at the end of the loop or after the loop, we, have, we need another message box to basically indicate how many cards we are going to send this year. So I can just copy and paste it from before and change number of cards sent last year to number of cards to be sent this year. Okay, so that should conclude the changes that I need to make to the code. And let me switch back to the database and give it a try. And it says number of cards sent last year is one. Okay, so this year, let's see, okay, we'll just say yes 
yes, 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 yes. And we have already reached our quota of five. And we can go back and take a look at contact list and say that, well, we only have five users here. So let's just add one more. We'll call that, you know, stranger three. Last name is weird. Okay, so now we have you know six individual p six individual entries in the context um, database, and then we can go back to our form, click it again, and it says number of cards sent last year is five because that's exactly how many we are sending, and then we can say um, yes, 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 and you can see that it did not ask me whether we want to send a card to stranger three because by the time we get to stranger 2 and or by the time we decide to send a card to stranger 2 we have already reached our limit of 5 now we also can go back to contact list here and just oh, we can do it because we don't have that ability we can go to tables and manually set send card to 1 for all the records. So this time, you know, when we run that particular program, it should tell me that, you know, last year we are sending cards to six people. So let's go ahead and check to see if that's the case. And hmm, it's still saying the number of cards sent last year is five. Okay. So let's check and see why that is the case. Because it should have indicated that we are, we were sending cards to only five, uh, six people last year. Because that one is a one send card is. So we should it should indicate that we are sending card to six people. Maybe it's because we didn't change uh, our focus to the next line, so that particular record is not written back yet. So let's try that again. Command six. Ah, this time is what is correct. It says that the number of cards sent last year is indeed six. We click OK, and let's see what happens when we decide not to send any card to anyone this year. So we can say no, 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 and it tells me the number of cards to be sent this year is zero. So the program is now working correctly. Thanks for watching.